Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, uh, yeah, let's talk about some Disney news. Yeah, some Disney news that popped up. They dropped their entire entertainment calendar for 2024 with some new and returning surprises. So let's go all over it right now. Here's the calendar. You can see the full, full slate right here. It's the first time they've ever done this. And some surprising tidbits. We have, of course, the Halloween time, Festival of Holidays, all that good stuff. Um, but it's interesting because the Halloween time starts in August, August 23rd, a week earlier than this year. And it's the first time on the West Coast that it started in August. It started in August at Disney World for a long time. And I've long said that they'll catch up here on the West Coast. And yeah, since they starting next year, Oogie Boogie Bash will be starting probably the first, uh, last week of August, which is crazy. And the holidays, the Christmas time, starts a week later on November 15th, which is kind of unfortunate. I, I, I like to start on Veterans Day because I love as many, as much Christmas as I can get, or holiday times as I can get with all the lights and everything. I love Halloween as well, but I just wish Christmas didn't have to, or the holiday period, festival holidays and all that good stuff didn't have to suffer because Halloween gets a week early. But what do you guys think about that down below? Let me know what you guys think about that because that is quite a remarkable change. We have Lunar, Lunar New Year, of course, starting in January, going through February. Then in April, April 26th, we have Seasons of the Force returning. Seasons of the Force, of course, was temporary Tomorrowland while Tomorrowland was getting constructed. And it was so popular that it keeps coming back and it keeps being more popular than Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is right now, which is quite funny. And of course, Seasons of the Force is in Tomorrowland because Tomorrow Galaxy's Edge has a timeline. Uh, that whole thing is just so strange because uh, you have like two Star Wars lands um, when really Seasons of Force should be in Galaxy's Edge to increase the tenants to that land, but whatever. During Seasons of the Force, Hyperspace Mountain will be back, which would be super cool. Um, and it has some nice enhanced, Space Mountain itself has some nice enhanced projections with its month long refurbishment. So I'm curious, uh, those should translate over to Hyperspace Mountain and they should look, the projections should look beautiful, so I can't wait for that. It's still my absolute favorite version of Space Mountain, so I'm glad Seasons of the Force is returning so that has an excuse to come back. Those new scenes that keep being teased on Star Tours are going to be debuting on April 26th as well during Seasons of the Force and for Galaxy's Edge, they'll have music, a nice orchestra playing galactic music in Galaxy's Edge. Um, during the fireworks shows during Seasons of the Force. I'm, I'm not sure if it's during, they may seem like it was just during Seasons of the Force, but I hope that continues afterwards because, yeah, Galaxy's Edge is so quiet. Galaxy's Edge should use some nice music during fireworks, some different music, and just some music in general. So I hope that uh, sticks around past just that period. And I'm glad they're doing it now. They're finally, after all these years, trying something uh, to enhance that land. After season of the Force, we have the Pixar Fest. Yeah, that is a train, of course, that made a return, or uh, uh, its debut in 2018, and that is a subject opening of Pixar Pier, and hasn't returned since. <laughs> Got mixed reviews. I liked, um, I, I like those themed festivals, so I'll take a festival. I think it was pretty okay. The Together Forever, Fire Together Forever Fireworks are returning. Um, I saw a lot of discourse online. People are very upset about that. They don't like that. Of course, I'd much rather have Wondrous Journeys of Disneyland Forever, but hey, at least we get, um, was it Baymax flying over the castle, or the Up, the Up characters flying over the castle during that show, which is pretty cool. It's a rather short show, um, but it's, it's cool. At least we got a nice fireworks show, and rumor has it Wondrous Journeys will be returning before that, but in January to, like, May anyway, so that would be pretty cool. That we get the best of both worlds. The best part of uh, Pixar Fest is coming back is California Adventure finally gets a new parade. I have a new daytime parade coming. Um, it's called like Pixar something, Pixar Parade, something like that. Um, but it's having the Red Panda from the Red Panda from Turning Red and the Boys from Four Town, which is a boy band in that movie. And that's where the ice skaters, the figure skaters, are coming in. Remember, Disney was doing a casting call for figure skaters. And, yeah, they're going to be in this parade, so that would be cool. Um, it's nice to have California Adventure having a nice daytime parade. No paint tonight, unfortunately. Hopefully, it can come back because that's very Pixar-y. And that will be, even if it goes to Cal uh, Disneyland at nighttime, that way you have two parades just like during the 60th anniversary. That would be pretty cool. Or if California Adventure has uh, it at night, I'll take it. Whatever, whatever, whatever park... Paint Night goes, 
it will be amazing because I absolutely love paint the night. But yeah, no paint the night for sure, but we'll begin a brand new daytime parade, so I'm sure hopefully we'll have some nice catchy music and I'm very excited to go watch it. As you know, as part of the entertainment calendar, Fantasmic is returning on May 24th, Memorial Day weekend 2024, and so a surprise announcement, they're replacing the um, Pirates of the Caribbean segment with a new Peter, or not with a new, with the returning Peter Pan segment. So yes, Peter Pan will be returning to Fantasmic. I potentially love, I particularly love the Pirate segment, but I I know a lot of people love that Peter Pan segment, and I, that one's good as well, just I like Pirates too. And I know that made a lot of people very, very happy. And yeah, that'll be very exciting when Fantasmic returns. That is part of that new magic they promised. Again, the dragon will not be back initially as it still takes a while to rebuild. But some new magic, including this new Peter, or the returning Peter Pan segment, will be coming back. And I wonder what else they have in store for that show. Lastly, um, we got some... Disneyland After Dark events. More will be announced soon, but Disneyland After Dark events are returning uh, this year. Probably, of course, Star Wars night will probably be going through, again, Seasons of the Force, if I were to guess, probably a couple of nights. Sweethearts night will probably return, and more. Again, nothing's officially announced, but stay tuned for more dis details on the Disney Parks blog for that. And we'll have, whatchamacallit, one more thing here. Um, hold on. Actually, no, that was it. <laughs> yes, that was all the um, all the news that we had for today. But, um, yeah, a lot. So Disneyland dropped a ton of news for their events for 2024. I'm glad they did all this. They can, you know, it's easier to plan now. You can also, it's easy to get excited for something. Right? Disney had a lot of bad press lately. You know, they showed off the new Epcot celebration area today. And a lot of people aren't impressed because it took five years to build. So it's nice to just kind of get away from all the bad news and get some things people can be excited about. Of course, people weren't excited about all the news for today, but I'm just glad that the entertainment calendar is ramping up uh, because we'll have that and then Tiana's Bio Adventure next year. So Disneyland will be worth getting a ticket for, you know. They keep raising the prices, but to cut back on entertainment like they've been doing uh, is pretty bad. So I'm glad they're adding a lot of it back and we have a new one revamped, rethemed attraction opening next year. So maybe the $200 ticket will be a little bit more worth it now. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, I have a getaway today link, a referral code down below. You can get some, save some uh, tickets, get some deals on some Disney tickets and vacation packages, so check that. Also it works for Universal Orlando and any, any theme park in California or Florida, it works. So go check that link down below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up and subscribe for more theme park updates and check out my Patreon account or become a YouTube member for some cool exclusive Universal and Disney content, especially as construction progresses on Fast and Furious and other associated projects. And as always, have a magical day. Do you guys want discount tickets to theme parks, Disney, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all of them? Well, guess what? I can get you that. Thanks to the folks that get away today, we have a referral code down below in the link. You can click and get discounts and for all your vacation packages. Also, you can get tickets or discount tickets for single day tickets as well. You just click on the code, click whatever theme park you want to go to in California or Florida, and then type uh, use the code TPW. That is capital T P N W. That's it. Disney, Universal, all of them. And they, if you add multiple days, the bigger the discount. Again, use that referral link down below. Uh, you'll get lots of discounts, including single day, vacation packages, even on hotels. And use that code TPW. And thank you to the folks that get away today for helping us out here and helping you get some more discounts. All right, let's get right back to the video.